Cool. Hey guys. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. So I have this gut. A lot of people like to affectionately call it dad bod. Uh, I, uh, a lot of my friends are like, oh man, that dad bod's so cool, it's so nice, so hip, bro, all these things. I disagree. I'm on the other side. Uh, I think you should be shaming me for this gut. Uh, and the reason being, uh, mainly because, you know what we do with Vogue things in our culture? We make magazines out of them. And the last thing I want to see when I'm checking out of the grocery store is a magazine that's just titled GUTS! <laughs> you know, your dad's naked white body on the pasty white body on the front, just the whitey tighties, nothing else, just slurping on an ice cream cone, just like, oh yeah, brew crew 82 for life, boys. <laughs> a lot of undergut shots. That's the side boob of guts, is undergut. <laughs> it's tasteful. Yeah, it's gross, but it's also tasteful. Uh, <laughs> I'm fat, that's what that last joke means. <laughs> I'm so fat I have stretch marks, uh, which is basically my body telling me, hey bud, you can't get that fat that quick without explaining some scars to some ladies. <laughs> Just kidding guys, I don't get naked for women. I fuck like I swim. Uncoordinated and with a t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah, you laugh, but it's true. So I used to be in this uh, little uh, organization called 4-H. Anyone know about 4-H? Yeah, it's a little rural for everyone. Uh, it's, uh, it, it, I, I, I'd love to not brag about it, but uh, I'll, I'll try. I'll try and brag about it. At one point, I was so good at, uh, I guess, 4-H'ing that uh, I got sent on this delegation to Washington uh, for, you know, I, I don't know what the hell we were doing there, asking Congress to upgrade us to 5-H. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's a poor joke. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> So uh, we, we, we get on this bus, it's an 18 hour bus ride from Wisconsin to Washington DC. And uh, about three hours in, we're, we're done with everything we could possibly be talking about. Like there's nothing left. There's 50 kids, there's eight chaperones, which are basically just there to make sure that all the sex is consensual. <laughs> just making sure that, you know, everything's happening with a yes and a yes, you know, it's nothing else. Uh, and uh, so, so, you know, around 60 people, nothing left to talk about, and uh, I found out about this, you know, argument, this huge debate between farm kids. Because uh, just a little uh, inf side information on this whole thing. I was the only, like, city kid. I was the token city kid in the whole group. Look at me. I was the token city kid in the whole group. I am so sorry, Streets, I misrepresented you. Uh, so... It, it's three hours in, out of everything to say, and uh, just out of nowhere, this kid just stands up, and uh, I find out what this whole debate about. And no, it's not about whether to shower or not, because uh, the, the, that is a very definitive no, everything we touch is covered in cow shit. Uh, no, the debate is this. This kid gets up and he goes, Hey, are we Blaine's boys or Mills men? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the argument, is Blaine's Farm and Fleet versus Mills Fleet Farm. They don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're clapping, but no, no one should know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because there's, oh, they were brothers at one point, and they separated. Who cares? You know who wins in that argument? Capitalism. Capitalism wins. Uh, so, uh, I, I, you know, this argument ensues. It's about, like, two-hour long argument, and I'm just sitting there, and I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I'm just sitting there, I'm the lone city kid, I'm just like, what the fuck am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? So I just stand up, and I just yell out, MONARDS! <laughs> <laughs> and for a solid ten seconds, there's absolutely nothing going on in anyone's mind. I'm just like, what the fuck did the city kid just take, say to me? And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I won, Switzerland won. I was, I, I just created peace among farm children. And, uh, uh, and, 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 and so there's this old man in the back, old old man, uh, he's like seven years old, and everyone calls him Silver, Old Silver. Man, I'd wish I'd have a pimp name at the age he was. He's like seven years old. This old man Silver just gets up out of the back of the room and screams at me, Fuck you, Menard 
that you don't make good buckets! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I, I, I didn't know how to respond, so I just sat down reluctantly in my seat, and uh, I, I realized two things uh, uh, that Silver knew about me. One, he thought my name was Menards, and two, I don't make good buckets. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm in Zach Sandy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Zach Sandy makes a yeah. Money. Zach, you should know we're in River West. Ooh. This is a Blifford's crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Also, that whole thing about the, them being brothers is a myth. Just saying. The <laughs> oh. Mills thing. Also, Mills Sweet Farm is the only